I was recently at Formosa Interactive in Burbank, California, and they asked me an interesting question. I wanted to share the solution with you all. They work in high-end game audio and work in a non-linear format where there's really no middle, beginning, or end, but they often have to process lots of different audio files. So what they wanted to do is when they imported a number of different audio files and put them on the same track, they wanted to easily be able to add a gap between all of the audio files of, say, one second just for organization and management of different files. So let's see how we could do this. And we could accomplish this using a project logical editor preset in addition to a macro. So to start off, we want to, the goal is to take each of these files and add a one second pause. So let's go to our project logical editor and build a preset. So we'll come directly here and we'll go to the project logical editor from the edit menu. And for our function, we want to choose transform. So we're not gonna delete or select, we want to transform. And what we want to do is to take our different events or parts and shift them one second. So let's build our, our condition. So the top area, we could think of what we want to affect and the bottom area, and that's in the filter target, the bottom area or the action target is what we're gonna do directly to those events. So we're gonna say container type uh, is equal to a part, and container type can also be equal to an event. And we want to make sure that the property is set to being selected. And for my Boolean condition, I don't want it necessarily to be a part and an event. I want it to be a part or an event. So we've defined this and what we want to do in the action is we defined our, what we're going to affect. We want to change the position. We're gonna add and we could choose our value of time and let's say to one second. So what we're gonna do is take this event here and for the selected event, move it over by one second. So if we just apply this logical editor preset, uh, we'll start with where our cursor is. It's going to only move just the, uh, the very first event, but it's not gonna immediately go to the next event and shift that. And this is where we want to apply a macro. But first, I want to save this preset. So if we just kind of come right here, we'll store the preset. Okay, so we're gonna call the preset move plus one second. So we're gonna build a macro, and a macro is a series of key commands that could be triggered. So, and to do this, we go to your file menu, to key commands, and click on show macros. So we're gonna create a new macro. We're gonna call this move multiple events plus one second. And then what we want to do is to add different commands. The first command we want to add is under edit. We want to select from the cursor to end. Click on add command. What we want to do next is to go to our project logical editor. So we're gonna to go to process project logical editor. And since we stored that as a preset, we can now incorporate that directly within a macro. So we'll add our command. At this point, we want to go to the edit. And since all those events are selected, we want to do an edit select none. And then under transport is we want to choose locate next 
event, and we're going to do this twice. So in this macro, what it's going to do is we're going to have to move the actual cursor to the beginning of the first event. It's going to select from the cursor to the end. It's going to process the project logical editor preset to move the event by one second. It's going to deselect everything, go to the next event, go to the next event, and kind of do this process. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now what I want to do is now that I've created the macro, I'm going to create my own keyboard shortcut because I'm just going to kind of hold down our keyboard shortcut to kind of re-trigger this macro. So we're going to come here. I'm going to assign a keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to use command option M for this particular function. So we'll hit OK. So now we'll close this. I moved the cursor to the very first file. And now I could just hit the, we'll zoom in just a little bit here. We'll hit command option M. And as I just hold that down, all the events on that particular track will now be moved over by one second and this will give a pause between those different tracks. So once again, if you wanted to set up your project logical editor preset, you can just come directly here, set up this condition. And then if you wanted to go to create a macro under your key commands, we can now show your macro and have those steps. And at that point, you could make a macro that will automatically add a one second pause between the different events on your project that easily. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.